For this look, I wanted to do a very kind of subtle glam look. Look, I have fake eyelashes on. So glam. We're trying a new angle today. We'll see how it goes. First thing that I'm going to do is moisturize and prime my face using my Cetaphil lotion and my Nivea Men's Aftershave. It smells so good. And then we are going to put on foundation. I'm just using my e.l.f. Flawless Foundation in porcelain. And I'm just putting that all over my face. I'm just dotting it out with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and buff that all in. I'm using my e.l.f. Concealer right under my eyes. Not sure how I feel about this concealer. It's got some pink tones in it. We'll see how it goes. And again, just buffing it into my eyes with my Beauty Blender. And then I am taking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder, it's just a translucent powder, and I am packing that underneath my eyes. And we, I am doing this to prevent creasing, and it also gives me kind of a subtle highlight. And I'm going to leave that on for about 5 minutes, and then I'm going to take my loose powder and my Real Techniques brush and just brush that off my face, as well as use the loose powder to set the rest of my foundation. I'm going in with a concealer just on the tops of my eyes to cover up my veiny eyelids a little bit, and rubbing that in with my finger. I'm using the Tartlet palette by Tarte, and I am using this top color. It's like a pinky tan shade. It's called Force of Nature. Yes, there you go. Hold it right. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and I'm just using that on my crease brush, and I'm just going to make a little V on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to work that into my crease as well as the outer V, like I said. And next I'm going to take Force of Nature again and combine it with Wanderer, which is a light brown shade. And I'm just putting that in the same area as before. And then next I'm going to go in with Power Player, this grayish color, and Dreamer, that darker brown color. And I'm putting that in the V, focusing more on the lower half of my lid, not so much the crease area. And then I'm taking Power Player again and just running that right along the outer corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo, Bad to the Bronze. And I'm just putting that on my lid, basically where we don't already have eyeshadow. And then I'm taking Half Baked and Booty Call, which are two shimmers. Half Baked is gold. I'm just putting that over the top to get it a little bit more of a pop. And then I'm taking my crease brush and just feathering the edges a little bit. Next, I'm going in with this small detail brush and just running some black right along my lash line and giving it the tiniest little flick right outside my lash line. And then I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and just running that along my waterline and tight lining my eyes as well. Next I'm curling my lashes and throwing on some false eyelashes. These are Ardell Demi Wispies, I'm pretty sure. And then I am taking my NY- oh, totally forgot about my eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows done. Now taking my NYC bronzer and my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just running that in the hollows of my cheeks and up around my forehead. Also, I used Anastasia Dip Brow on my eyebrows, if you were curious. <laughs> Next I'm taking Power Player on a contour brush, and this is going to sound a little crazy, but I want my contour to be like really noticeable, so I'm taking that in the hollows in my cheeks, <laughs> and I'm just buffing that in really well. It's basically just going to create a shadow. I actually really liked how this turned out. I took a risk. I think it looks really good at the end. Um, if you want just a more uh, defined contour you can use a color like this and then I'm going in with my white powder just giving myself a little bit more of a highlight and then I mean a lot more of a highlight <laughs> and I'm just buffing that out as I do it as well and running it down my nose and then I'm taking my Mary Luminizer and going in and giving myself more highlight because I'm kind of obsessed with highlight lately and so is everyone else <laughs> next I am taking this luminous peach blush by Too Faced and I am putting that on my apples and my cheeks and then up just to highlight a little bit more. I'm obsessed with highlight during this video. Jesus. Then next we are going to line our lips and I felt very Kylie Jenner while I was doing this so I overdrew my lips just a little bit. I'm not the best at overdrawing my lips but I tried and I'm just using the Smashbox Nude Lip Pencil in Medium which I'm pretty sure I stole from my sister so whoops sorry Kirsten. <laughs> And I'm just actually just using that as lipstick. I don't put anything else on. And that is the finished look with my gorgeous wet hair. <laughs> and I hope you guys liked this look. I think it turned out really pretty. Kind of soft, glam, a little bit Kylie Jenner inspired. If you did like this look, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all the other things. And also click on this face and you can see my last video which was a pastel pretties video and have a good day